In this video, I want to uh, show how a, a web-based program called NZ Grapher can draw and calculate draw box and whisker, including the informal conference interval. Uh, it can draw the dot plot and the box plot, and also calculate the stats. And it can also uh, uh, add the statistics. So basically it can do uh, stats and calculate the stats which is required for box and whisker graph. It can take a random sample. It can uh, draw the informal conference interval. So this is a great program uh, or a website called NZ Grapher. And if you Google NZ Grapher, which is this, you can open this page and this is what will open up. Okay, now if you click on help, then this is what it will look like when you open it. And if you click OK, I got it to hide the overlays. This is uh, a page. And uh, now to populate this spreadsheet, the only thing that you have to remember is this will accept only files which is in CSV form. That is comma separated value uh, format. So first I know where I have uh, saved my document. I'll choose file. I have saved it on my H drive. Uh, and I know I have saved it in level 2 mat and under stats and under assessment. And this, if you hover over the document, it will tell you Microsoft Excel comma separated value. And that's what CSV stands for. So double click on that and it will populate the spreadsheet. So here you have got the student ID. This is the weight of the bag, the weight of bags, and this is girl girl and boy so you got 400 data so let me scroll down you got 400 data 200 boys and 200 girls now these are uh, AGGS stands for Auckland Grammar Girls School and for boys it is Auckland Grammar Boys School so ABGS stands for Auckland Boys Grammar School so I want to select a sample of 30 first from boys and girls. So click on the sample and the sampling method that it does is simple random sampling. Okay, So what it does is it randomly selects 30 bo boys and females. So if you click on this down arrow I want to do a sample of gender. Okay, That means you've got 200 boys and 200 girls and type in 30 in boys and 30 in girls and then click on sample so when I click on sample what will happen it will randomly select 30 girls and 30 boys so sample it will take a while and here we go so here this is girls okay so can you see the numbers have changed student ID 5 14 uh, 23 24 and so on okay and if you scroll down you got 30 girls and from 31 you got boys so so you got 30 boys and girls which is random these numbers tell me that they are random okay now I want to draw the box and whisker uh, dot plot calculate stats and include the informal conference interval so if you click on this X variable down arrow I want weight of bags and on the Y I want the gender now what's the type of graph I want to draw the dot plot if you click on dot plot on this side this window will open so I want the summary which is the stats so it calculates minimum lower quartile median mean upper quartile maximum standard deviation and number so you, this is for boys and this is for girls so this is all we need we need the box plot so click check this so this is a box plot and then I also want the informal conference interval. So it does the whole thing. Okay. And you can change the label. So the graph title is uh, dot plot and box plot of weight of bags 
uh, uh, of boys in A, B, G, S and girls in A, G, G, S. So here you can see the weight of uh, bags in kgs and then if you can update it it will it will change the title and also the access title okay and then if you press if you press this you can see the whole graph and uh, bring your cursor somewhere on the screen and then if you right click and then you can copy the image it will copy the whole thing copy image and then open a word document I've already pasted it so this is uh, okay so let me scroll down so let me scroll down and let me show you so and if you control V it will copy and paste the spread uh, sorry the graph and the stats okay so this way you can do all the all the calculations of you don't need to do any calculation of uh, statistics you don't need to draw any graphs so this program does everything for you so this is a very neat program which can which is web based so and you can access it anywhere okay and you can bring back the data and then what you can do is if you want this data to be shown so this is a sample you can bring it up and you can download the data and this is the data so let me open that file okay so this is Excel and then you got this numbers and then you can uh, copy this so let me make it let me make it have add, add borders there and then right click copy and then you can paste it on the word document which will tell you that you have done the sampling so let me go down and then if you and this is your sample okay so this way this is your sample of girls and boys so these numbers will tell me that this is a random sample okay so and then you got your graph and then you got your stats so the only thing that you have to do is to write about the stats and the graph